Okay, so first up, the first tool we are going to discuss is the thickness tool. Notice it's grayed out because we don't have any geometry loaded in. Um, it's a very simple tool, but it's a very powerful and uh, pretty neat tool. Um, you can do uh, some pretty pretty neat stuff with it, even though it's very simple. Um, basically, all it does is it takes uh, a polygon and adds thickness to it. So, so why don't we just get it right in here and just show you what we can do with it. Let's just show the basic of it. Let's go to CAD primitives and let's go to our box tool and let's just create a basic box. Okay, so we have a, a polygon here. Um, let's, uh, sorry, let's uh, go set this on the uh, zero on the y axis, just so we can see the measurements uh, for the, using the grid here. Okay. Okay, so the grid right now is 50 centimeters. Let's go into CAD Edit, and now you see we can access our thickness tool. Let's click on Thickness. Let's click N for Numeric. Okay, let's check off Dimension for now. Okay, so we have Thickness Type, single side and double side. Right now we're in single side mode. Um, with your mouse, left click and drag either right to left. Okay, and as you can see, the polygon, let's uh, come back, the polygon that we created is now developed some thickness. Okay, so you're able to create a geometry that has depth using this thickness tool because it actually gives it thickness. Okay, if we click on double-sided, Basically, what it does is it grows the thickness out from the polygon. So right now, the polygon, the original polygon we created was at the zero axis on the Y. Okay, we go back to single sided. Notice that it's growing out from the zero point because this edge right here that I'm talking about. It's actually everything grew out from that polygon that's right there okay and you can make it go negative or positive and the polygon normals are still facing outward so that's cool so you don't have to flip any polygons okay so once again double-sided it grows it in and out okay and you can do you can <clears throat> adjust this numerically if we go back to single sided and I type in say one meter, see how our grid size is 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters times two is 100 centimeters. 100 centimeters equals one meter. Okay, so we can type things numerically for the amount of thickness, very helpful. Um, if we put on show dimension, you can see where it, sh it shows the uh, dimensions of what's going on. Right now it says a thousand millimeters for the thickness. Now there's a thousand millimeters inside of one meter. Okay. So if we grow this up, uh, we'll go 1.4 meters. Notice down here it says 1.4 meters. And there's some zeros at the end, but they don't really mean anything. Um, it just says, so it's 1.4 meters. I don't know if it might be hard for you to see. I can just, just barely see it myself here. Um, and in double-sided mode, it works the same same way. Okay, the thickness goes from here to here. So once again, if I type in one meter, okay, it's 50 centimeters. 50 centimeters going up, 50 centimeters going down. 
Okay, so this is, you know, you're saying, well, why would I want to just make a box when I could use like the box tool and give thickness to itself? Now, this is just a basic example of what, uh, of, of just how this works. Okay, so uh, more than likely you're going to use this on something that's a little bit more complex. Okay, so while we have our box uh, sitting here right now, um, we should actually maybe take uh, take a little bit of advantage of this. Let's uh, select this polygon and select this polygon and delete them. Okay, so let's uh, just for fun let's move this up. Okay, so. Right now, there's really no thickness to this box. There's just polygons. Okay, so let's uh, deselect the move tool. Let's go back to CAD Edit. Let's go to thickness. Let's go single side for now, and let's just somewhere on the canvas drag right to left, and presto. See how we took a very simple polyg a polygonal shape, and we made something that has a little bit more complexity to it. Okay, same thing. If you go double sided, it will grow out from the polygon. See how it's getting thick? Okay, if you go single side, once again, it will grow straight out from the polygons. Okay, or you can make it grow inward. Okay, um, you know, and it, it's not just limited to uh, box shapes. Let's uh, hit the space bar. Let's uh, maybe grab something as a different shape. Okay, um, let's go circle. Okay, and right mouse click, and let's go add. Mouse click. Um, maybe. Okay, well, that's good enough. Well, make something that goes out. Okay. So let's go and select our. Whoops, sorry, wrong cat edit. Let's go thickness tool. And notice that. Nothing's happening because uh, this is uh, a NURB object. Okay, so we would have to actually convert this into um, convert this into a polygon um, for this actually to work. Okay, so let's let's give this a try. Curve to poly. Oops. Let's turn off this. Uh, guy here let's uh, select this and we'll go curve to poly okay you can see that it's now a polygon so theoretically this should actually work let's hit flip okay let's uh, drop the tool okay let us go back to CAD edit and let's click on thickness and we're in single-sided mode and check that out okay so that's pretty cool okay so you can make stuff with Paul or sorry you can make stuff with NURBS first and and then uh, turn them into a polygon because the, the uh, thickness tool works with uh, polygons convert it into a polygon and uh, and then add uh, like I said then add some some thickness okay so I think this this is like I said a pretty helpful tool for uh, designing and modeling um, let's undo this okay and is this still a, yeah it's still a polygon okay it's still a nerve right now let's uh, now that might not have been very impressive. Um, I'll just sort of detail this up a little bit more with some different nerves just so you can see. Um, 
let's see, let's go rectangle and let's go maybe subtract. Okay, and right click. Okay, and right click. Circle. Delete that right click. Okay, hopefully this will work out correctly. Let's, uh, sorry, let's go to curve to poly. That looks like that worked out okay. Okay, let's uh, flip. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Sorry about the sirens in the background, kids. I don't have a soundproof room. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can delete these uh, polygons that were left behind. Because it didn't actually... Sub well, it, it cut them, but it didn't actually subtract them. Okay. So a little bit more of a complex uh, shape here. And if all goes well, our thickness tool should make something. OK. So if you come in here, you can see how it very, very nicely makes us, uh, takes a, a two-dimensional object that was created with NURBS and made it into a, a 3D object. Okay. I think I might just show one more example of <clears throat> what you can do. Um, okay. So that was just like a flat object. Um, let's make something that just sort of, it's not going to be complicated, but it's just going to be something that um, is more, more, sort of more three dimensional. Um, it'll be basic, but okay, let's, um, let's go, so just use our, let's, pre, let's use our regular box tool, because that should still work fine anyways. Um, let's go like this, and bring up our numeric panel. And segments, let's make a few of them. Okay, and okay, um, let's. some of these, kill those, okay, and I'm going to select this point and this point, hit P for poly. Now, I'm not sure if this, not sure if this works with triangles, we're going to try it though, one, Two, three, P. Okay. So everything's polygons at this point. There's no real depth to this at all. It's a three dimensional object, but everything is flat polygons. Um, hopefully, this will work with triangles. If not, I might have to modify our, uh, our model here. Let's click on thickness. Uh, grab on one of the windows, or click on one of the windows with your left mouse button, 
and drag it out. Okay, so that did something a little odd. And quite possibly it could be because of the uh, of the triangles. Uh, yes, I believe it it may very well be. Okay, so that's probably okay, well it converted them in an interesting way. Um So yeah, it might not work so good uh, with it too complex. Let's see what was left over. Yeah, it made uh, kind of an interesting shape here. Okay, let's try. Let's see what happens if we use a. I'm going to try a sphere shape. Where are we? Ball. Okay, let's see if we can use the thickness tool with this. Let's go wireframe. Let's delete that. And let's and delete those let's see and I think there probably will be oddities probably these triangles at the top but let's just give it a try and see how far we can push this we may have to delete those we'll come back if it doesn't work properly uh, thickness and huh. looks like it looks like it's worked okay Okay, so once again, if we bring up our numeric panel, we can go double-sided and grow it. Grow it in and out. Okay, so if you need to make some sort of dome shapes or something interesting like that, it's doable. Okay, so I think you should get the idea. Uh, for now, there may be, like I said, some uh, some things that there may be some uh, glitches with, like what we were, what I was trying to show here. Um, I might have to fool around with it. I'm not necessarily sure if because I use triangles, whether this was uh, if that was the actual reason why it did that. I don't think so. I think. Uh, I may have been asking it to do too much from the inside it may uh... okay so let's uh, stop here and we will be back in a moment